Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. This is Assassin's Creed number one. And today, we are assassinating the scholar of Damascus, Jubair al-Hakim. So, we will be making our way to the Madrasa, where we will find Jubair. <laughs> And then once we get close, we're we're almost there. Ooh, a Templar. Can I can I air assassinate this Templar? Yes? No, maybe. Come on. There we go. There we go. That was easy. Let's take you. You must not trespass here. I am sorry. I will not be here for long. Okay. Ooh, we are recording. Okay. So let us go over our information on Jubayer. So Jubayer is obsessed with destroying every written work in the city, and every day he seems to gather more and more people to his cause. They join him within the Madraza al Kalasha. This is where he can be found surrounded by his loyal men. So we will look. Ooh, we have a letter. J. Okay, so it looks like this is from Jubayer to Robert de Sable. We are close now. Oh, excuse me. Master, we are close now. Soon the entire city will be purged. Every day more are illuminated and come over to our cause. Should you have further orders, send them to the Madraza Alcalasa. It is here that I now reside, surrounded by my most loyal men. I suspect the assassin comes for me, as he has for others. I do not fear death at his hands. Only let him wait until our work is finished. I will continue to keep you informed on my fa uh, my progress. May the Father of Understanding guide you. J. Yes, the motto of the Templars right there. So Jubair holds daily meetings within the Madrasa to speak with his students. The students then take to the streets carrying the message of their master. One of those meetings is about to begin. I think I will attend. Jubair's scholars are fanatics. They walk the streets, calling out to the citizens, demanding their books and parchments so that they might be burned. They believe that destroying all knowledge of the past will somehow allow for a better future. But better for who? That's a good point. The past is a very good way of preparing the future, seeing your mistakes and learning from them. So, Altair has found a map where the scholars are planning to burn books and other sources of knowledge. Jubayer, should Jubayer escape me, he will probably travel to one of these locations for aid. Okay, so he will travel. I assume he's going to travel to the blue dots that don't have the X on them. So let's let's take a quick look at our map here. So in this area, so we've got like one of them here, one of them over here, one of them here, and I I think. No, it's, it's like right here, because I think that this one up here and like over here somewhere, those are the ones with X's. So, yes. Okay. 
So now we can go back to our memory log. Oh, okay, so that middle one isn't a location. Jubair is known to wear rich golden robe and carries with him a large pouch. From the other scholars I've seen in Damascus, not many fit this description, making Jubair quite uniquely dressed. Oh. Okay. So we have another map telling us which bonfire he is not going to. So it looks like he's going to the lowest one and then one of the two on the right. The two rightmost. Ooh, another attachment. What's this? Aha. So we have a letter and we have the final two points. So it looks like he will be at the furthest to the right point. Let me just verify that that is in fact what these maps are saying. Yes, because those two and then the bottom one and then the lowest one and the second to the right. Okay. So, we have a letter to Jubayer. Master Jubayer, I feel your suspicions have been proven true. We followed her as you asked us to, and discovered that she intended indeed kept the books. We would have taken them ourselves, but felt it best that you attend to it personally. She is your wife, after all. Uh-oh. Below is a map that will lead you to her hiding place. It is a small garden, empty f save for a sundial and bench. I am sorry that it has come to this. It m cannot be easy, but I am certain you will do what is right. Your brother always, Hakim. So Jubayer's wife is going to be in danger. Jubayer's students have uncovered where Jubayer's wife hid some books, which are meant to be destroyed. The students suspect their master would want to be personally want to personally burn these documents. The location of this particular burning is within a small park. Yes, so we have found where Jubayer will be attending a bonfire. Jubayer has declared that every text in Damascus must be destroyed. He says the pages harbor only lies and their words corrupt men's minds. He preaches this to his students and they support him without question. They meet each day inside the Madraza al Kalasa. Another of these gatherings is about to occur. I will attend as well. Not to listen to this madness, but to end it. So, let us work our way down. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments. Put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them. Ah! Ah! 
Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. So the scholar with a large pouch. Now, the question is, I don't think that we will be able to get past the guard. I know there's a guard on that door. So we will head from the roof over to the furthest to the right fire. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Okay, I'm good. No, please don't leave. Just a few points. Now, that is not the scribe that I want. I'm gonna go around because I don't know if it's going to start a cutscene or something when I get close to him. So we'll take the long way. What do you mean I ran right into someone? I think I was kind of pushed. You're lucky I'm on a mission. Because I'd start punching people. Uh, now we have some guards. But I bet I can get right Not over this wall. Good people of the map. You are doing the right thing. Let us uh -oh. this city of his Uh oh, here he comes. Here this he comes. is a righteous act. And from the face yes. shall be born a new era. One of truth <laughs> and unity. Okay. Once I hit this ladder, I think I'm good. You are not supposed to be here. Leave. Okay. Let's... We need to get rid of these guards. So we have one there and one over there. Good people of Damas! You are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. Let's this wait for the guard to come act. back over this and way. the flames shall be born a new era. One of truth and unity. Governed by a singular wisdom. Okay, as soon as he turns around, he is mine. Get ready, Altair. Good people of Damas! You are doing the right that thing. That other one, though. Let us cleanse this Ooh. city of its poison. Okay, past. now it's our time. This is a righteous Great act. Like and that. from the flames shall be born and a new like era, this. one of truth and unity, Ooh. governed Ooh. by a That is wisdom. like a perfect place. Can I can I air assassinate him? No, nope. target him, please. Yes. Why? Why have you done this? Men must be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong, and that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree. 
Yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah ad and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Okay. Oh, wow. He just ran out of nowhere. Slapped me with his sword. <laughs> Alright, I think I am also gonna run straight back to the Bureau on this one. I think that that's... Why can't you climb up, Altair? Please climb up. Thank you. Okay. Actually, I've lost them, so if I can... Never mind. If I can... Lose them beforehand... Like, get right up here, and then... Jump across... Ah! Oh. That was not quite what I intended. I could have sworn Altair would jump further. Oh! Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Get in! Okay. We have lost them. And we are right outside of the Bureau. Only 40 meters away. Down we go. Let us talk with the Rafik. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes, Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. Wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war, that sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafiq. Upon you as well. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Altair says that the scholars were stupid for blindly following the cause. Oh. We are being pulled out of the... the Animus. We get to explore Abstergo again. Not a lot of time, Vidic. Understand there's a narrow launch window. Wherever it's hidden, time to retrieve it. I'm working on it. And when it's done, He'll be taken care of. I want that progress. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Hmm. Okay. So let's pause it right here. Because, yeah. This is stuff for another episode. <laughs> we have the night to ourselves, and we will explore Abstergo to the fullest of our abilities. All two rooms that we are capable of entering. But before we go, I must finish my thought. 
Altair criticizes the scholars for following blindly Jubair. And yet, the assassins also kind of follow the mentor blindly. How, how are the assassins any more righteous than those scholars? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. Maybe we'll be able to figure this out in the next few episodes. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.